first and foremost, let I give all praises, on and glory unto the Mosai, Yahweh, Basham, Yahushai, Basham, Makkah, Kadash, double honor to the apostles and the elders that do rule well at Great Millstone, peace and salutation to Yahweh, out there pushing his gospel in sincerity and truth, to the brother Kalam, to the brother Quara, who has come out to preach you with Yahweh, Basham, Yahushai. Oh, there's just a quick little edification, you know, you can see, you know, the, the wicked, you know, they're pushing the, the, the ungodliness, right? That the scripture says, you know, the earth is defiled under the inhabitants thereof, because there is no light in them, there is no, there is no truth in them, right? The world is in, in darkness, you know, because the scripture says the world is given into the hands of the wicked, right? You know, and who, who is he? Right, look at these heathen nations that you know are ruling this world, you know, and they're ruling this world, you know, in unrighteous dealings, in wickedness, you know, and the Mosai, the Abasham Yosha is not the author of confusion, you know, and this is what the wicked does proclaim confusion, wickedness, they would just bring forth, you know, ungodliness, right, you know, because the scriptures, you know, they condemn, you know, this. Confusion, you know, it is folly, right? So they don't believe in the word Ayah Basham Yoshai, right? They believe in the system, you know. So this is what happening today, right? In the islands of Trinidad, you know, the the post up, you know, the ungodliness. All right, you can read. All right. Title say the U.S. Embassy Port of Spain flies pride flag. Today, the U.S. Embassy, Port of Spain, raised the rainbow pride flag at its Queen's Park West Compound to mark the start of Pride Month in Trinidad and Tobago and the celebration of June as LGBTQI plus Pride Month in the United States. And according to an official statement from the U.S. Embassy in Trinidad and Tobago, the flag will be flown all day. June 26 also marks an important turning point in the fight for LGBTQI plus rights in the United States. It is the anniversary of the historic Obergefell v. Hodges Supreme Court, Supreme Court decision in 2015, which ruled that the fundamental right to marry is guaranteed to same-sex couples and is the law of the land. Can, yeah, so it's, it's the law of the land, right? That the scripture says, you know, who, who changed the truth? Of your basham your shy into a lie, right? Because hey, the Lord, you know, he didn't he didn't set this, right? He is not the author of this, right? You go to um, First Corinthians fourteen verse thirty three. First Corinthians chapter fourteen verse thirty three. For your hour is not the author of confusion. Yeah, for your hour is not the author of confusion. Right? Hey, let, let me look it up in, um, in the blue letter, confusion. And see where it see. See, uh, instability, a state of disorder, disturbance, confusion. Right, so disorder is a, a state of confusion. And the Mosai, Yahabasham Yashai, is not the author of that. Go back to the scripture and read it over. First Corinthians chapter 14 and 33. For Yahweh is not the author of confusion. Yeah, so he's not the author of confusion. Go ahead. But of peace, as in all churches of the saints. Yeah, so as of peace, as in all the churches of the saints, for the most is not the author of confusion because they, the Lord didn't make them so. To say, you know, a man and man, woman and woman, the Lord didn't make it like that. That is confusion. Right? You can't rep reproduce, you know, by a man with a man or a woman with a woman. Right? That is absolutely wickedness. 
and the Most High, Yahweh Shem is not the author of that. Right? You get Matthew 19, verse 4. Can and before I read it, scripture say to be fruitful and multiply. Can. You know? And it can multiply like, you know, man and man, woman and woman, as they say. Matthew 19, verse 4. And he answered and said unto them, Have ye not read that he which made them at the beginning made them male and female? And yeah. said, Right, so say, And he answered and said unto them, He that, Have he not read that he which made them at the beginning made them male and female? Right, the most I created male and female. Right, at the beginning, which is, you know, a Genesis. Right? You know, we, we could read we could read that. Right? Get it yet? Genesis 127. Genesis chapter 1 verse 27. So Yahweh created man in his own image. In the image of Yahweh created he him. Male and female created he them. Yes, yeah, so he created male and female. Go ahead. And Yahweh blessed them and said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply. And replenish the earth and well, subdue it. Well, right, so to be fruitful and multiply is by a woman, by a man and a woman. Okay. A man put his loins, he rod into a woman, right, and she been conceived by the seed of man. Alright, go ahead. And have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fall of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. Go ahead. And Yahweh said, Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed, which is upon the face of all the earth, and every tree, in the which is the fruit of a tree yielding seed, to you it shall be for meat. Go ahead. And to every beast of the earth, and to every fowl of the air, and to everything that creepeth upon the earth, wherein there is life, I have given every green herb for meat, and it was so. And Yahweh saw everything that he had made, and behold, it was very good. You can't, so the Mosai say what? And Yahweh saw everything that he had made, and behold, it was very right. good. It was very good. So the Mosai created male and female. Come. Right? And tell them replenish the earth. Right? And the Mosai saw that everything was good. But you all want to say that it's okay for a man to be with a man, a woman to be with a woman. That is confusion. The Lord is not the author of that, as we now read in. This is the word of Yahweh Basham Yoshai. Right? So we go back to um, 1 Corinthians 14 33. We read it over. 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 33. For Yahweh is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all churches of the saints. Yeah, but of peace. You know, let me look up that word peace in the blue letter. Say a state of national tranquility, exemption from the rage and havoc of war, yeah. peace between individuals, harmony, concord, security, safety, prosperity, felicity, say of the Messiah's peace, the way that leads to peace. Salvation. So Can. the way that leads to peace and salvation, which is your Basham Yashai words. The law, statutes, and commandments, right? As you say, it's going to be our exemption from the rage and havoc of war, okay. right? The, the Mosai is going to bring terrors, great evil upon the ungodly, right? So this is the word that hey, we're going to be delivered, right? Out of the hands of our enemies. This is we're going to save you, the word of your Basham, your shy. right? Get Romans 14 verse 9, 19. Romans chapter 14, verse 19. Let us therefore follow after the things which make for peace, and things where it one may edify another. Yes, yeah, so let we follow the thing what was made for salvation, which is the word of your Basham Yoshai. Right? The Lord came back in the, in the volume of the book, it is written of him. He that believe it, as the scripture said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living waters. Right? 
Daisy thing what was made for peace, which is salvation. Right? Days where we are to follow the righteousness of your basham your shy. That's Sirach 19, verse 19. Sirach chapter 19, verse 19. The knowledge of the commandments of the Lord is the doctrine of life. And they that do things that please him shall receive the fruit of the tree of immortality. All right, so this is the thing we're supposed to follow after righteousness. The knowledge of the commandments of the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yoshai. Right, and the commandments of Yahweh Shem Yoshai is the, you know, to withdraw yourself from evil. Right, the Lord gives straight commandments to such as keep what we should do to live and what we should do to avoid punishment. So being with a, a man being with a man and a woman being with a woman, that is wickedness. Okay. That is about. abomination. Go ahead. First Corinthians chapter six verse nine. Do ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of Yahweh? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revelers. No extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of Yahweh. Yeah, so these people that are doing these things are not going to inherit the kingdom. Right? And we know he got, you know, he, some pastors, you know, he's saying, you know, he, the most I had apologize for destroying Sodom and Gomorrah. Right? Which is, which is a totally wickedness. Okay. The most is not wicked. The most is righteous. Right? And days with days with days with the Lord does do unto the ungodly who want to live ungodly. They shall be they shall be put out right the lord never give any man any license to sin right he's not the author of confusion right but who change who change who change that right yeah romans 125 romans chapter 1 verse 25 who changed the truth of Yahweh into a lie, and worshipped and served the creature more than the Creator, who is blessed forever. Amen. Yes, yeah, so who changed the truth of Yahweh by Hashem Yoshai into a lie, and worship and serve the creatures more than the Creator. Right? They worship the system. Right? The laws, the laws of the land, which is wickedness. Right? Rather than serving Yahweh by Hashem Yoshai. Right, called the Mosaic of righteousness, and he give his law, statute, and commandment as guidelines for we to keep in the right path, right, and to depart from wickedness, right. So he teach we the things, right, to separate we, you know, from from the wicked, right. He give we his law, statutes, and commandments, and they will we are to follow, right. But today, you're seeing how the, how the world is. You're seeing the, the wicked agenda. What, you know, the system pushing. You know, and seeing, you know, we people, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, you know, they're following after that. They're following, you know, the, the, the wicked custom of these heathens. Right? Yeah, Isaiah 24, verse 5. And that is why this place in this, in this state... Isaiah chapter 24 and verse 5. The earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof, because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. Yeah, so that is why this earth like that. Wickedness, confusion all over, right around your turn. Right? It's these ungodly people. Right? Who, for, who foresee the way of righteousness. Right, yes, Second Peter two fifteen. Second Peter chapter two verse fifteen, which have forsaken the right way, and are gone astray, following the way of Balaam, the son of Bozo, who loved the wages of unrighteousness. Yeah, who loved the wages of unrighteousness. That why scripture says, "Learn not the ways of the heathen." At these nations, because this is what these nations them does do. Right? The Lord made us different from them. He separate we from them. We are a peculiar people, a holy people. 
Holy means separate. The Lord is separate me from them. Right? Then um, second Ezra 8, verse 27. Right? So you see, you not to learn the customs of these people. Second Ezra chapter 8, verse 27. Regard not the wicked inventions of the heathen, but the desire of those that keep thy testimonies and afflictions. Yeah, but but desire of those that keep thy testimonies, right? That occupying in the scriptures, the word of your Basham Shai by keeping his commandments. Right? But we regard not regard not the wicked inventions of the heathen. Don't, fo don't follow these people. Right? His wickedness did his practice, as scriptures say. Um, it gave Proverbs, Proverbs 11 verse 18. Proverbs chapter 11 and verse 18. The wicked work it a deceitful work, but to him that soweth righteousness shall be a sure reward. Yeah, so the wicked, the wicked work it a deceitful work. Right? Because there, there, there is no light in him. There is no righteousness in these, in these people. The heathens, these nations, right? There is no righteousness in them, and they is what it is work. That is why you know in this place in this in this filthy state, right? Jump down to verse verse twenty three. Let me twenty three. Yeah. The desire of the righteous is only good, but the expectation of the wicked is wrath. Can't so the expectation of the wicked is right, right? But the desire of the righteous is what? It's only good. It's only good, right? So if the Lord set that example that you know a a man supposed to be with a woman be fruitful and multiply, that is the good. But man and man, woman and woman, that they that belong to rat, they so will be, you know a. Put to death according to the according to the scriptures, according to the laws of your Basham your shy. That what the scriptures say, you know, hey, you know, the, the wicked, you know, he shall be put out. Right? So following these things is wickedness. Okay. The Lord says he's angry with the wicked every day. Right? And being wicked is by transgressing the law of your basham your shy. When you transgress the law, you become more wicked, evil. Because you're not following the right path. The right, the most high righteousness we had set before the children of Israel. Okay. In Deuteronomy 23 and 17, it say, There shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel, nor sodomite of the sons of Israel. Can. So they will, they will the most high say, you know, and a lot of weak people, you know, hey, following the ways of these hidden and becoming these things. Okay. Right? Yeah. Yeah, two bit four verse five. Tobit chapter 4 verse 5 My son, be mindful of the Lord our power all thy days, and let not thy will be set to sin, or to transgress his commandments. Do uprightly all thy life long, and follow not the ways of unrighteousness. Yes, so the most I say what? Do uprightly all thy life long, and follow not the ways of unrighteousness. These things, you know, I... What you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans doing is unrighteousness, is wickedness, right? The Lord is not of that. The Lord is not of wickedness, right? The scriptures say, what, what nation is so great that had these laws with the most I give us, right? But you, a lot of y'all turn, y'all back on your bash on your shy. To what to follow unrighteousness to follow these people these people are gonna cause you all destruction right because they're gonna be taken out they're gonna be taken out of this world right as scripture say you know you that join hand in hand you know you all you all gonna fall alongside your enemy Right, get Second Peter two verse six. No, it's like uh, right, that. continue reading. Which one it was? Tobit. Five four, and verse. four and five. Can jump down to twenty three. Tobit 
23. Something at 20. Uh, no. Yeah, read, read back four, 5. 2 with 4 verse 5. My son, be mindful of the Lord our power all thy days, and let not thy will be set to sin or to transgress his commandments. Do uprightly all thy life long, and follow not the ways of unrighteousness. Can and follow not the ways of unrighteousness. Bring out a quick piece of art. Revelation 18 and 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and Yahweh hath remembered her iniquities. Can so there's, there's, there's the word of the Lord. The scripture say this. There's the word of Yahweh Basham Yoshai. And he's saying, you know, to tell my people to come out of her. Right? To come out from this wickedness and turn back to your power. The righteous power, the most is righteous in everything he do. Right? So the Lord said, you know, come out of her. Come out of, of, of Babylon. There's wickedness there. Right? And her sins has reached unto heaven, my Mosai. Remember her sins. The Lord had, the Lord gave examples. Right? The Lord set examples for we. Right? That we should not live ungodly. Right? The Lord destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. You get that in um, 2 Peter 2.6. Second Peter chapter 2 verse 6. And turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemn them with an overthrow, making them an example unto those that after should live ungodly. Yes, yeah, so the Lord, the Lord, hey, the Lord leave that city as an example unto those that after should live ungodly. Mm -hmm. You know, but two thirds of people are not taking note unto this. Right? There's the word of Yahweh Hashem it, it didn't change. Right? The, the laws ain't changed. The word ain't changed. Right? So you all, hey, scripture say, you know, hey, days with days with the Mosai, days with the Mosai do, he leave an example when he destroyed these cities. Right? So we wouldn't live on godly to face that same judgment. Right? But watch how the world, watch how the world, how the world is. Watch how the world become. Just as Sodom and Gomorrah, the scripture say, you know, hey, you know, uh, Babylon is spiritual Sodom, Sodom okay. and Egypt. Okay. The same thing was going on, you know, in Sodom and Gomorrah. The same thing was going on, you know, to the four corners of the earth, to, to America, you know, to these Caribbean islands, to, to, the, to the four corners. It's the same thing what happened in Sodom and Gomorrah. the same thing what happen, happening today. Right? So if the Lord... If the Lord destroy these, these cities, Sodom and Gomorrah, right, for being ungodly, right, you all think he's not going to even do it again? That he's going he gonna to show mercy, you know, to say, you know, hey, it's okay now, right? If you all want to do this, be with a man or a woman, be with a woman, it's it, it, it all well and good now? No. Your Basham Yosha is the same of yesterday and today and forever. Is the same dreadful power and, and, and merciful power too. Okay. Right? Guess Psalm, guess Psalm 7 verse 9. Psalm chapter 7 and verse 9. Who let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end, but establish the just, for the righteous power tried the hearts and reins. Yes, we say, who let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end, but, but establish the just, the righteous power try their hearts and ruins. Right? So what, what happened? What happened in the Sodom and Gomorrah? They were destroyed. But who, the righteous lot. Right? Lot and his seed they were, they were saved. Right? And these days were going to come. Right? The destruction, you know, at, at, at this city, the wickedness were, were, were happening, you know, to the four corners of the earth. Hey, it's gonna come to an end. Thus said your basham your shy. There is the word of your basham your shy. There is not my words, but the words of the Lord. Right? 
So he said, oh, let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end. It's going to come to an end because the scriptures say everything that had a beginning, it had an end. And the end is being manifest. Okay. We see in the wickedness, we see in it, we see the end of this. We are to the end of this wicked ass queendom. It's going to come to an end. Everything that had a beginning, it have to have an end. Even the longest rope, it have a beginning and it must have an end. And we see that, you know, we in these last days, we are the end of it. Right? And hey, the Lord gonna, hey, the Lord gonna, you know, hey, the righteous gonna escape the hands of your Basham Yoshai, judgment. Because they, they fear your Basham Yoshai and keeping his commandments to follow after the way of righteousness, doing the things pleasing unto your Basham Yoshai. And the Lord gonna have mercy upon them. Right? The same so called UFO. All the same aliens, hey, that is our salvation. That is what's going to come and gather the elect from out of the midst of Babylon. Right? When, when, when that great city is hey, going to burn. Right? That is why the Mosai is saying, hey, come out of her. Or they come out from that state of mind, that wickedness. Them unclean spirits. Come out of her and look for all your shepherd. Look for your Abasham, your Shai, where he may be found. And how the Lord going to be found is by these men out on the highways and the byways. Right? That prophesying the word of your Abasham, your Shai. The same men you all despise and hate on the streets. Right? That's speaking against this wicked ass queendom. Right? You all going to be amazed to see the strangeness of the salvation. Right when these so called UFOs, the most I child, delivering them. And you're all gonna be what burnt up. You know? And with that, you know, hope it was very fine. We like to give all praises and glory unto the Heavenly Father. Yahweh, Kadash. We like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone rule well. Who teach us the truth through the spirit and power, Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh. And peace and salutation to the Akiams and Maudi who pushing the gospel in sincerity and truth. Is the brother Quara? Brother Kalam. We say, Shalom. Shalom.